What is going on, my fanners? Welcome from out of channel here. And today, we are going to check out the highlights of the 2021 Greenwich Concourse The Elegance. And as we are here, we're seeing one of my all-time heroes here, Lightning McQueen in person. Never knew I said that. There he is. And right beside him, there's another championship with the car here. Right, right there's the SCG 007. That's how all his body panel is taken off. And like uh, 10 to 20 minutes ago, this thing was actually running. But you see here, all the body panels are off. There's the front end. Oh, this might be a might be a race-driven car, but the might have been cleaned off or something. And there is the engine itself. <laughs> well, it should put some food box groceries in there. And there's a crew toss there. And there it is. Crew toss next to an Otis over here. Looking pretty cool there. And there's the V12 in the crew car. GT3 RS right by the bottom. This tank over here. New driver, nice and steady. Go to your ice cream truck. Keep it on the control. Just when you're trying to Next guy went 20 here. Oh, I got a high gritty proof over here with all the sims and stuff. There's the kids off. We have the sims over here. Oh, officer. 
Here's Robert at the Greenwich Concourse Delegates on the simulator. Go, buddy, go! Oh, you spun out! Get back on the track. motion sim there was like an f3 car like an f4 f3 car and it was a lot of fun with the motion sim there but yeah it sort of locked up uh sometimes kind of went off but yeah it was a lot of fun there onwards and we're gonna head out to the lawn right by that SCG 007 over there and into a booth here There's the There's the concessions booth there We got car capsule And we got some Duesenbergs over here We got a Jay Murphy here. Oh, beautifully restored over here. Now there's in Burke here. That's absolutely fantastic. Model J Riviera Phaeton. We have more doozies here. Another Model J. This looks pretty good story. Over there, there's a plasma there. That's, I think that's the first time that you ever had a TV like that. We got clothes here, and memorabilia. We got more Duesenbergs here. Third 
They're a lot different than what we do. I mean, this we got here. There's actually one of Hagrid's uh, top events over here. We got a Gia here. Oh, we got more cars over here. They're not going to be, you know, as nimble as uh, the GT3 car on a racetrack. But I think the important thing is Cadillac. 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 Is going to be uh, heading to the awards sometime soon. Sure, absolutely. And when you say different, what a great segue to the Pagani uh, here. Uh, so we had a Chrysler there. We had. But this one. Oh, we got a Mira. That's a Mira. My car goes 250 miles an hour. My car goes 300. My car is 2. This 250 TR1. I think this is the first time I've seen a car like this. Oh, it's got a ribbon there. Mira. Five tall BBI. We got the Dino 246. We got a Daytona. We got a plug of GTX. Sort of completely the opposite on the other side there. One side we got American muscle, the other side Euro Tours here. That's a We got a Trans Am here. I think it's Mercury Cougar. I don't know. I don't know if that's a cougar. Yeah, Trans Am, GTO, Camaro. Oh, Mercury there. Yeah, I think that's a cougar. Plymouth GTX. For this year, decided to become so expensive. It had become so expensive. Buick GS400. Yeah, we were at the AMO, and they quickly we had to stop at the Target store to get. And we had a Plymouth GTX. Uh, Hemi, is that a 426 now? I don't know if it's a 426 AMC Rebel. There's my little motor cars. We're going to get to that shortly, though. Bentley 3 liter. And they're talking about the, the 007 hypercar there. Ferrari Roma. It's a part now, so it's kind of hard to see it, but when it's together, it's, it's pretty cool. And we did some kind of old-fashioned things. If you look at the rear wing, for example, we have these vertical slats on it, which two. I got from I think that's, is that a two two rally cars. And the thing about it is it provides terrific horizontal Yep, two ideas. 1971. You had to just throw a goal away. This particular car is a customer car. Oh, Maserati. This year it finished fifth overall. Sister finished fourth. 
and, uh, you know, for an American yeah, school team the moms, uh, racing the against the rather the larger Toyota. I'm on trying to channel there. We got the high rods here. And, um, you know, we've been sort of arguing with them as to what kind of performance we should be allowed. Be and I think we, we are going to come there. to a good resolution of that. And we'll be back racing next year. So and, uh, we hope yeah, Toyota won. That's absolutely done. fantastic. And I, for one, when I can go to a show and see a car exploded out like this, where you'd actually see the guts and the mechanics of it, and the body panels off to the yeah, side, I don't mind a bit. I think it looks out of it. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think, and you can learn a lot of interesting things. I mean, if you if you come well, over, you can that. see the third element where that shock absorber and the system in the front basically control the car as it goes through the air and it keeps it level so it operates efficiently. The other thing about this is the engine and gearbox are mounted to the bulkhead. There's no rear structure. So all of the forces have to be observed by and, and taken by the center safety section. It also has to survive that's, that's a nine mile an hour crash and not kill the driver. And that's something we, we had to crash test the car. You got the LMO too there. Interesting. They measure the GT40 that you're using. So the FIA monitors this during the race and you're given a Land rope bridge energy, over there. And you have to use that energy at your maximum output. Is that an actual sky? No Land Rover. So this is pumping oil through the engine, building up oh, the pressure, it letting up. it cool down. One more. Third time's gonna be the charm, man. Eh? Just cranking it, we set off a car yeah, I was gonna alarm. say, we've already set off an alarm and it's not running yet. <laughs> Because we don't, we can't shut it off until it warms up. So you want to move away. And there's the water front. So that's a big deal with this. Is you got to watch your temperature. We got another Kruger here. Got a Trans Am Camaro. 1968 Pensy Z28. We got a GT 350 here. We got another Camaro set there. Sixty-seven, and we got a GT, GT forty there. Oh, it's a ribbon car. We got a Grand Sport, I believe. Penske. Pretty cool seeing this Trans Am car in the flash. I have a GT forty there. And I think this is a, and it's sort of the drag spec Mustang there. I actually spoke to the owner of this uh, Corvette. This ain't a Grand Sport, but it is an LED8.